what a fantastic, honestly, I've got a great core and glute workout for you all this morning. So watch, like, comment, let's get motivated. Let's all do this together. It's six minutes. If you've not quite got the time now, watch, follow later. You can save it and you can do it at a time that suits. All right, please. Also, we are getting ready, ramping up for a massive labor sale weekend this weekend. So you can let your friends and family know, stay posted. We will have a special one-off deal for labor weekend. All right, so onto the website, pregnancyexercise.co.nz. All right, team, okay, use your couch. If you've not got your couch handy, obviously you can do this on the floor. We have a combo move first. Fine for everybody. If you're feeling it in your back, okay, just very lately had your baby, just do the basic bridge. We're doing a combo, okay? So what we're gonna do, if you wanna make it harder, sit your toddlers and babies on you, okay? So what we're gonna do is drop down for a bridge and then you hold it and do an extension on both sides, keeping your hips still, then a bridge. So if it's a little bit difficult, just do the bridge. Then we've got your side planks. Okay, here, if you're pregnant, anchor yourself down. If you want to, this is great if you've just had your baby. Functional diastasis come out, advanced. We can go into that full plank. Now check out this next one. We're gonna do plank holds. Now, I know you must be thinking, how can I do plank holds? Pregnant, just had my baby, etc. Shouldn't I be aware of my diastasis? Yes, you should. But as long as we've got the functional core strength for whichever modification we choose, then it's okay. So I'm gonna show you the three different variations of the planks we're gonna do. Okay, so if you're pregnant, just had your baby, you do this. 10 second hold, exhaling, stretch back. Functional diastasis is this, with a stretch back advanced will come in up now if you've got good functional strength you can still do this one in your first trimester if you wish to okay so you've got the three options we're doing holds with a stretch back so the stretch back so they're your different options for choice there how cool all right team are we ready to go we're going to start with that bridge combo so ready head and shoulders now you can do this on the floor Okay, if you want to do it on the floor, fine. Just make sure your head and shoulders are relaxed. Get ready, team. Let's take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, think pelvic floor transverse. Transverse only if you've had a C-section. And let's go. So we exhale here. Breathe in. Good. Exhale. Now keep those hips up. Breathe in. in. Exhaling strong core and glutes on the extensions. Well done. Come on, that's it. Keep it going. Now we'll go slow on the first set and we'll pick it up on the second set. So make sure everything's staying. Have a check, everybody. So we check nose, cleavage, belly button, pubic bone. Stays in a straight line. Good. Lift. About 20 seconds, we're changing, drop, push through those heels, connect with your transverse third. Well done, everyone, keep it going. Good, lift, harder than it looks, hey. So remember, if it's a little bit hard, just do the basic bridge, get ready. Turn to me, choose your side plank option, let's go team. So with the side plank, we exhale through the move, breathe in there, exhale through the move, breathe in. Exhale, yes, now stretch up, good, choose your option, 15, 10 seconds now to go on this side, you're going to rotate and go underneath, get ready, 5 seconds to go team, good, 3, 2, rotate round and go, choose where you need to be, remember this is slightly easier option, good pregnancy, just had your baby, getting that core function, next one, and then you can go out, straight legs if you want to. Up to you. Got about 10 seconds to go. And we're going to start with our plank holds. All right, so this might be new for some of you. Don't worry, as long as you've got that good foot core function and connection. 
connection. Ready? So I'll start with the basic. Exhale. Breathe in. So just had your baby pregnant. Exhale. Good. So go through your exhale. This is functional diastasis. Exhaling. This is advanced. So stay in your plank for as long as you can exhale, okay? Thinking about that core strength. Good, keep it going. So choose your option, knees. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, but hard and hold the full plank, take your toes off. That adds that little bit more. Good. What you wanna be watching for on whichever plank position you're choosing is that you're not dropping down through your back. Think that nice straight line. Good. Excellent. Work it out. We're back to the start. Cool. Go. Ready? Up. Extend. Extend. Now we can speed it up now. Have you all got the move? Good. That's it. Well done. Drop down and lift and lift. Good. Keep those hips still. Excellent team. Keep it going. Woo. Relax your back. Lead with your pubic bone. So relax here. Pubic bone lift. Good. Breathe in. Yes. Exhale. Keep exhaling. Good. Breathe in. Extend out. That's it. Well done. 20 seconds to go. Come on, everyone. Keep it level. No rotation. Good. Drop down. Yes. Extend. Extend. If it's too hard, just do the bridge. Good, don't worry about the lift. Five seconds, we're coming to the side planks. Drop, yes, side planks, turn to me everybody. Let's go, come on. Yes, now make sure you give me a like and a comment so Facebook will show it around to so many more of you. Let's bump up this community feel. Forget mums working out, no excuses. You can all do these, come on team. And remember, we will be launching a very, very flash sale for this special Labour Weekend. Come on, keep it going. Four, three, yes, change sides. Let's go. Nice and straight. Make sure a fault, what I often see in the gym is members dropping backwards. So make sure you're going straight up and down on these side planks. Good. And guess what? We're nearly there. We've got 10 seconds to go. And then we've got the last round of your plank holds. Five, four, three, two, plank holds. Come on, join in with me. Come on, everybody. Let's do this. So it's a stretch back at whichever position you're at. Feel confident in your core. You're ready for this, some of you. Okay, you can do it. So feel that exhalation. Feel that connection, pelvic floor transverse. Good. Drop. Remember you're in this position. If you're kind of at like our level two, around about six weeks into birth, a bit more, seven maybe, depending on your diastasis and your function. Again, pregnant, we're here. Nice stretch back. It should feel really good, everybody, whatever level you're on. So connected to your core. This is great. Stretching, connecting, all levels catered for. Choose your position for your core function. And guess what, team? Let's hold it. Exhale. We're all finished for today. So if you want to, go for nine minutes. Go back round and do the next circuit. Yes, Randa, it's safe. The, all the lower level modifications safe for the third trimester, definitely. So do a basic bridge. Just do your core bridges. So third trimester, drop down, lift. Side planks with the anchor. Perfect. And then your rock back and here for third trimester. Yep, all those ones are absolutely fine, perfect, gonna help to get you ready for labor and birth. To see if anybody else said. So make sure you all please like everybody on, just give us a like and a comment now. 
Remember, we have got a sale starting this weekend. We have had a few issues with the website. Hopefully they'll resolve pretty soon. Please, all right, okay. <laughs> Recommend to your friends and family pregnancyexercise.co.nz for all your pre and postnatal exercise and wellness. Enjoy team. I will talk to you all soon. Hope you enjoyed today's workout. Bye everybody.